Hi, mate. Hello, Grant. Nice to see you all again. Yeah. So last week we talked about stats, comms, and or, and feedback, and we talked about working with feedback. And we said we we're going to look at what what's the feedback ex escalation look like. So what I was describing last week was when a customer service manager or receptionist or whoever is handling the day to day of Affinity OS gets some feedback, and that feedback's simple. It's great. They can respond, appreciate, or you know, uh, give the answer that the member's looking for. But when it is needing to be escalated to a manager, uh, that's a process, and it's a really simple process. And Andrew's going to share his screen and show you how to do that. Yes, let's take a look at uh, some feedback. We'll take a look at. There was a piece of feedback last week that we were. Uh, talking about around a member, Sinead, and her response was overwhelmingly negative, although uh, we did notice that she was you know, satisfied with our cleanliness and certainly with the value of her membership at, in using the training studio. So she's really trying to help us out and we need to put her in touch with the manager of that club. So this is really easy to do in platform. I simply need to open this uh, response by using the view full response and I get this pop out window now. So up here, I can assign this alert to a team member by clicking here. I pick the person that's responsible for this. I can uh, type a note to them as well to, to uh, make a recommendation, uh, recommend addressing the situation and assign this alert. And at that point in time, uh, this person will receive that alert in their inbox and be able to take over the communication with this member. It's as easy as that. Pretty simple. So it's really a process that would be utilized not that regularly. Uh, from my experience in club, probably about eight out of 10 feedback responses can be handled by receptionist, customer service manager. And as that person becomes more experienced, maybe that even moves to nine out of 10. But when we do get an opportunity like this, where somebody's saying, look, I love aspects of the club, but I'm really upset or frustrated with these certain things. And in this particular case, what was interesting was uh, her feedback was around early morning classes, 5.30 a.m. And she didn't feel like she'd been handled very well. So she gave a poor friendliness score. The thing is that generally club managers aren't in at 5.30 a.m. So they're not gonna know what was done or what wasn't done. And Affinity OS allows that insight into what's happening at those shoulder periods, periods when a club manager is not normally in, in club. Um, Andrew, anything you wanna to add to this, mate? No, I think that's a great a description of using this feedback to identify the situation that she's having, which is that it is, it's in shoulder uh, times, it's not in your prime time. And being able to address that when you communicate with her is simply gonna make her feel like you're uh, personalizing uh, the response. And that's gonna go a long way to building a relationship which will uh, increase retention. And, and also have her in, improve her member likelihood to recommend or her net promoter score and hopefully get more people into the club by referral. Absolutely. And one other side effect here, if you will, is she's actually in touch with the club manager then, which normally, again, wouldn't happen because she's an early morning member. Um, so next okay. week, we might cover a little bit more of the, the bubble up. So we might look at some trends. So what happens when we get this feedback, where does it go? And, and how do we look at that information and how do we leverage it? So we might do trends next week. Trends next week it is, Grant. Thank you. Thank you, Andrew. See you next week. Bye, mate. <laughs>